Nope. And here's the point. Ungrateful. That's very ungrateful. Yeah. You know, that's like you guys walking 60 miles to work every day. Then somebody feels sorry for you and give you a car and you just, hey. bro, that happened to me. I was at work and uh, I gave a coworker a ride and they fucking said something about my vehicle. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm giving your ass a ride to your little punk ass tent. You know what I mean? And you're going to say something about my car? Wow. You know? And guess what? Her ass is fired. Oh, yeah, but she don't work there no more. Pretty soon she's going to be on fire. fire. That's right. The fire. That's right. And another thing, too, for you brothers out there. Hey, man. Hey, d d d hey don't don't try to have these people care for us, man. Right. You know, because these people don't care for us. Stop feeling in a low spirit because the world don't love us right now. We've been we are a world that will be loved for eternity. That's their loss. Understand your value and worth. All right. You better start feeling some worth. It says, Jacob, uh, it says one shall be stronger. Go into as a homework assignment to you sincere sheep. Go into that word stronger in Genesis 25 and 23. All right. Go into it, man. That's for you. And it's uh, Revelation 6 and 2. And it says, and I saw, because remember the brother said bow, right? Talking about the arrows. It says, and I saw and behold a white horse, which this is a chariot. All right. White being pure, horse being power. Power. Which is, which is how the Lord's going to come back. He's going to uh, crack the, the clouds in a pure, powerful manner. Mm. What did Trump say? He said, well, we're gonna, we got the military all lined up. He's going to do it in a powerful manner. No, Yahweh Shai is going to do it in a powerful manner, man. All right? Yeah. He's gonna, he's, the elect are going to be gathered in a powerful manner. That's right. Okay? The, 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 the heathen nations, the armies, are going to be destroyed in a powerful manner. That's right. The earth is going to shake powerfully. Yeah. And it says, and he that sat on him had a bow and a crown was given unto him and he went forth conquering and to conquer. So the conquistador is about to get conquered, man. Oh, king of kings and lord of lords. Man. Just like Esau says, they came over here, invaded and conquered this land. You're about to be conquered. America's about to be conquered. The earth is about to be conquered. All right. All right. It says the saints shall take the kingdom. All right. All right. Fucking the audacity of you people, man. Right. The pride of you people is unmatched. Right. It's unmatched, man. Why is earth and ashes proud? Man? Right. He's right. right. proud as hell walking around smoking marbles, right. man. Right. You know? Right. Chewing tobacco. Right. He got no damn teeth in the mouth. Right. Ass stinking pieces of, you know? Dirty human being. Don't, don't know nothing. Terrible <laughs> hygiene. They got two boosters. Right. <laughs> Through, yeah, this Edomite arguing with a Jake, and uh, it was it was clearly an Edomite Jacob conversation, and he was like, uh, he said, I'm I'm uh, I'm supreme, and he said, spell supremacy. Esau couldn't even spell supremacy right. <laughs> you know what I mean? But this is this guy, man. That's his nature. You know, you got it, bro. Uh, back in Saint up, Jeremiah bro? 51 and verse two, and we'll send it to Babylon fanners that shot Babylon. Babylon's uh, this this place. This is Babylon. We're standing on Babylon. You're in it. I shall send prophets unto Babylon. You hey, even IUIC says they're prophets. Where are they at? In Babylon, right? Nate said uh, Ezekiel thirty. Uh, what was that seven? Yeah. Ain't get fulfilled. He said we was in Memphis. What about like four four hundred of us? Yeah. <laughs> but where was he? In America, in Babylon, and Egypt, because they were in Memphis. Memphis, Egypt, yeah. all spiritual. Can't do nothing against the truth or for the truth. And it goes on to say, uh, that shall fan her and shall empty her land. At uh, 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 644, 7,000 new cases. Right. That's a fan, bro. Yep. Uh, the, the tensions between uh, Moscow, Ukraine, and Russia, that, that's, that's, a, that's spanning the fire yep. of World War III. Civil War. Civil War. You got Israel, they have a, a $3 billion plan to strike Iran. It says the least of the flock is going to draw them out, man. Call law, you call law, you have And when Shana. you even look on the map, Israel's right. small, bro. When you look on the map, Russia's big, you know. Uh, North America, yeah, yeah, you know. But when you look, Israel's this little itty bitty, itty bitty thing, land man. Mass. A landmass, bro. Look at it, uh, geography. Uh, yeah, it's perfect. It really is perfectly centered <laughs> to be uh, swarmed by all those nations. Hell yeah, because they're all forming allies. You know, different, and, and you got uh, the big bro, Russia, being the guard unto Iran, which Iran is Persia, and Persia is very hot in prophecy, man. Small hats, very hot in prophecy. And when you look at the map, uh, we didn't bring it our, ours out. When I was looking uh, the other day, I was just on Google Maps, 
Sometimes I'll Google eat them, and you'll be surprised what comes up. You know what I mean? But I was on Google Maps, and I looked at where Iran is. You got like uh, Pac uh, Iraq here and Afghan here. I'm like, damn, Esau's been attacking everywhere around it, but never Iran, because that's their last stop. Yeah, yeah. Because Iran ain't with uh, the Edomites. And all, another thing you got, you got Tehran has pretty much the whole land of Israel marked out of targets that they want to hit. Yep. You know, so they, all them red dots, it looked like a, a teen's acne face. So if, if they're in, if they're, they're pretty much squaring up with each other right now, man. Yeah. We're just waiting for someone to swing first. Yeah. You see? And, uh, when you were reading Rev 7, uh, uh, hold back the winds. And then you had the river Euphrates dry up the other, yep. not, not too long ago. Yep. So they, they, you know, they're getting ready to let loose. Mm -hmm. Back in St. Jeremiah 51 and verse 2, and it says, And shall empty her land, for in the day of trouble, they shall be against her round about. Right, all these different nations that uh that that have been once weak, but have made themselves strong with the spirit. You know, the Lord put the spirit on them to become stronger. Okay, to uh build up their uh, nuclear arsenal. You see? Yep. They're gonna be against the whore. Yeah. How are they gonna be against her? With their nukes. Yep. Okay. Yep. Verse three. Uh, with the, they're gonna beat up Esau with his own blessing. And, and through that, that's all this land will be uh, made desolate. Yeah. Okay, because this land will be destroyed as Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed, yeah. man. What's up, brother? All right, have a new year, too. You too, brother. All right. Uh, verse 3. Against him that beneath, let the archer bend his bow, and against him that lifted himself up in his brigger dine. Right, that bow is going into those nukes, those, those arrows. Silos. Or those silos. You see him him that bend it. Esau was the one bending right he's the one making fire coming down from heaven well he's the one that uh reinvented the wheel with uh, the iron age that's why the daniel you too brother that's why in daniel 7 it says uh the iron teeth yeah. because before that it was the bronze age yeah, yeah. and then esau's blessing which yahweh shai gave him right yeah. uh um turned it into the iron age and the romans capitalized off uh uh, uh ores of iron you know yeah, they made that, that military very great. Yep. You know? But another like, thing that made them great was they had Jake's in their arm. Yep. You know? Yep. The, all these kingdoms that have become great is because of us, yep. because of our people, man. All right. The reason why Rome was so great was because of Israelites. Yep. The reason why this place has become so great was because of Israelites. Yep. Egypt, Israelites. Yep. Babylon, Israel. Yep. All right. You had that movie, uh, If Black People Left Earth. Yeah, yeah. You had all the corporate, which uh, when you go into that word corporate, it goes into body. So these corporations are idols. These big buildings, you, when you look up these corp, they're bodies, the entity. It's it's a, it's it's one body ruled by multiple people, you know. But you had these corporations getting together. It was like uh, it was like Newports, Nike. You know what I mean? They're like <laughs> everything will go to crap, you know? Because uh, because Jake's make Jake make things cool. You know, you see a Jake uh, rocking something with swag, walking. You're like, man, I want to get that too. Oh, the brother said, uh, they, oh, they posted Joel. Thwata for the precepts, brothers. Thwata, 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 man. I might have to get that hey, Joel 3. Yeah, ahead. keep uh One brother said, that's how you always know what land the Israelites are in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly, man. Exactly, brother. Because it's it's salty. You know, there's flavor. You know, the dancing. And, 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 you know what? You want to be around Jake, but you can't right now because they're wicked. Yeah. Right. Because where Jake at is where things are popping. Hell yeah. You see? But yeah. we can't be around Jake now. Right. You, go out, you better off being around Esau. Yeah. And, and, and getting the East, Edomite Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's your best bet. Because so. Jake's lawless right now. You know, Esau's constrained to his culture of America. Jake's just tossed to and fro. So that's why they do underground gambling rings and because they're just lawless right now, because they, they don't have a home, they're sheep on every mountain. You know? They don't have a, a, a sense of uh, brotherly love. No. Nope. So I remember me and a brother went out a couple of times, we kind of calmed people down because they saw how we were, yep. and then they perceived that's how they should be yep. too. But they just don't have that that camaraderie right now. They right. got that evil eye. Right. You see? Yeah, me and the brother went out to play pool. This was years ago. Yeah, years ago. But uh, when the mirth was still being Zap back. Well, before, before, you know, you know before, before the mask. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, this was pre-mask era. <laughs> and we had, we went out and uh, we went and played pool and there was a Jake with his friend who was an Edomite and you could tell in his spirit he didn't, it, it, he didn't feel right because he saw us together and he, in his spirit he wanted that and he wasn't getting that from Esau, you know? Just like when I was with the brother yesterday, man, I see Jake, I'll wave to Jake because I could tell in the spirit, you know, like, man, they, they, they need to know 
Hey, we, we with you too, bro. So uh, we had waved. What's up, brother? We had waved to him, and in the spirit, he needed that. He saw two Israelites, and he's like, right back, you know. He's walking by himself. You know what I mean? Because Jake's uh, lonely out here, man. Yeah, I, I went to deliver, you know, pretty much uh, Edenville, and there's this one elderly Jake. You know, he seemed pretty respectable by the people in the town. He saw me, he said. Hey, what's up, brother? Yeah. <laughs> he reminded me of this brother. I said, what's up, brother? Right. I said, he said it back to him. Yep. He was like a, he was a cool Jake, too. He was up in age. He was like 70. He had a grade. You know, it was dope. Yeah. I, I got one more. Oh, because I was at work. And this Edomite, or excuse me, this Jake called the Edomite out for being racist. And I ain't like that Edomite either. So I was like, yeah. Yeah, I ain't saying nothing. I'll just, you know, cry back. I'm doing my job. And he was like, and he was loud, too. You know, Jake's loud. And he said, hey, man. He said, man, that's racist, you know? And he was like, man, I got sons for you. And then he said, and I want to let y'all know, I ain't coming back. And I was minding my business, not to be in many metal affairs. Right, right, it was right. it was me and another Jake, and the rest of the room were Edomites. So I'm looking down doing my job, and he said, hey, brother. And I, I looked up, because right. I knew he was talking. He said, I ain't coming back. Right. <laughs> and I said, how do it, man? And that shit was crazy, bro. But it, it made, you know, you got to think, we're the only people that are called brother or sister. That proves we're the family of the earth, man. You know? If you say brother, ain't no ain't no Moabite gonna turn around. Right. You know? <laughs> brother. Right. Uh, back in St. Jeremiah 51 and verse 3, and it says, <clears throat> And spare ye not her young men. Right, mm. now none of these men out here are gonna be spared. Man. You have something, brother? I was thinking of the bridegrooms. What yes, you want? Yes, oh, yes, that's yes. the spirit. Because well, yeah. none of these men out here are gonna be spared. Actually, you're gonna be drafted and you're gonna die horribly, man. Wow, watch that. Uh, if you have Netflix, watch that episode from Black Mirror with, with, with the Jake and they give him the uh, the Rev 13. Watch that show, man. Watch that episode, man, because it shows you about the super soldiers, man. Oh, Man on Fire? Man on Fire. Man on fire. Yeah. Watch the episode bro. Man on Fire, man. Bro. That's what they're going to do to you, bro. Mm -hmm. Okay? They're going to put those Rev 13s in you. Yeah. I remember a few years back, you had a couple guys come up to the LA camp. And they were in the military, and, it, oh, and he was confessing how they put, you know, yeah, yeah. they put the, the revenue. Yeah, you know? yeah. Well, you had the one guy that used to come up here. You know, he was real cool, he was and he was yeah. he was battling that. He said, "Man, I think they got me." Yeah. We told him, "Hey, rebuke that spirit, bro." Because yeah. at the end of the day, you know, if it happens to who it's gonna happen to, but you also have to make a conscious decision in that action. Right. So that could be Satan messing with you, like you already got it. Because you know, they had to give him that thing. I showed you, brothers, those, those things they give you when you're in there. So he might have, because he did that, then he found the truth. He like, oh, shit. What if they did that then? So that was Satan messing with him. Yeah, that could fuck you up. You know? Which proves that the hour of temptation is going to be that. There's actually a spirit where you're going to be, do I, do I not? Was they right? Was they right? Yeah, so yeah. they're gonna, you're going to actually have people battling uh, uh, the spirit of Rev 13, man. Yeah, man. Just to get it so they could eat. You know, I got to feed my family. Yohanna said that. He said that to Deacon Akai. He said, you going you gonna to take it? I need to take it. You want to eat, right? I think you're going to take it for a pork chop. Damn. <laughs> uh, do you want that now? Pork chop. Second Ezra 16 and, uh, and 33. The virgins shall mourn having no bridegrooms. They're only calling them virgins because the virgins is a representative of a bride. Right, the virgins are, are representative of a bride, but the virgins are women. Right. But of course, we know these women. Oh, marriageable age. You know, marriageable age. Pretty much a woman with a man. Yep. You know? Yep. Not saying like all these women out here are virgins. Yep. But you know they're not. But you got to think, in Ezra's time, he's seeing a prophecy of women that are engaged. So to him, there must be virgins. Right. Because he wasn't in America yet to know, oh, that's a hoe. Right. You know what I mean? So some of the vir one women that he saw were, were virgins, she already had two or three husbands. And those eight babies ain't even from the same man. Right. But you know what I mean? He's like, the virgins are more than. Right. And we, but we now have a greater understanding that Cardi, you know? Right. The hoes and holocks. Right. It's, uh, the, 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 you know? Yeah. It says, uh, the virgins shall mourn having no bridegrooms. I had a dream about that, man. I had an actual dream of, of, a, of beautiful women crying in a military base as men are lined up just being dished out to war being dished out, I'm just standing there watching. I'm seeing, I've seen it, there's like five rows of men just standing here being shipped out, and the woman behind them, she's, she was beautiful too. She's crying, my husband, he's dead. And you know what else, these, these women, your ass is gonna be out there too. Yep. You gonna stick an M16 in your hand, Yep. all right, and, and put a, and put one in you too, yep. you off. Yep. You're off. <laughs> ship them and ship them. Yep. 
It says, um, the woman shall mourn having no husband. Damn. See, right now, these women, these women have all types of access, validation, inboxes. So you Side have all types of attention yep. from men. But in that day, you're going to cry from your eyes for yep. being lonely. Yep. <laughs> Yep. Oh, well, well, the Man. women are going to represent America. I will be no widow. Mm. Now your ass going to be a widow just like America. Just like America, man, because you are many whores of Babylon. You know? Paul, Lord, about to yeah. Right. Yeah, the Lord is about to break up relationships. There's a time for everything, you know? And it says, uh, their daughters shall mourn having no helpers. In the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed. Man, you're gonna be, de be destroyed, be annihilated, man. A lot of them gonna be destroyed by your house shot, man. And their husbands shall perish of famine. So your eyes might not even make it that far, man. You know, you might come across some food, all right, and you ain't gonna eat it because you want your family to eat, and then your ass is gonna starve to death, man. You know? Or you're so hungry, the food you find, you go to gobble it up and you choke to death. Damn. You know? Ooh. Cause you, when you don't eat for a while, you're, you can't just eat fast. You have to eat slow. Like when you break a fast, yep, yep. you can't just eat a burger. Right. You gotta break your body, you know, in. You have to get you some, uh, some you gotta do the best you can. Yeah. You gotta get some water, some yeah. fruits, watermelon. Yep. Yep. Green smoothie, yep. it'll be, it'll be uh, ideal. ideal. Yep. You know, good, good water smoothie. But they don't have that now, so they're, oh my God. And they're gonna go to eat it. And they're gonna freaking choke to death. And they're gonna kill over. Yeah. And then, then there's, someone's gonna eat them. Yep. It's too rich. Just like oh uh, yeah 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 just like kids who have uh, my uh, my nutrition malnutrition yeah, if they eat something like uh, that's too rich like a burger or like some, like, like a, a very hearty meal they can die yeah that's a good point mm -hmm. yeah. this is uh, Saint Isaiah three said the last verse right Saint Isaiah three and verse twenty five thy men shall fall by the sword right so when you read Isaiah three it's going into these cursed as women how you cursed with uh with being unattractive. You curse with being overweight. You curse with a, with a stench. You curse with baldness, <laughs> and then you're gonna be cursed with, with your man, the man that you do got. Yeah. All right, they're gonna what? Don't have to. It says, "Thy men shall fall by the sword." Meaning they're gonna die, whether it be through cops, whether it be through the civil war, through the, through the racial tension, or self-inflicted gunshot, suicide. Damn. Saul killed himself and his armor bearer, and Al Alazar of uh, um, the zealots. Uh, the Sakari back then, uh, during 70 AD, made a pact to kill their wives and kids than themselves. He said, kill their wives and kids than themselves. Well, that, that's the spirit, because if you watch that movie, The Road, the whole time he had that fucking revolver to his little man's head. Yep. You know, because the bitch told him that they were going to take him and do things to him. Yeah. So he said, before, before I let that happen, I'll kill him myself. Yep. You know, so people gonna be in that spirit. Man. That's I'm, I'm taking my family. I'm not gonna let y'all go. Well, uh, what's that movie uh, by Stephen King? Uh, the Mist or The Fog? Yeah, yeah. Remember oh, the, 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 mist. the Mist, and then all the way at the end, bro. At the end, he they fucking start. Excuse my language. I'm sorry. They start shooting each other, man. That's a, it's, a, it's a beautiful and, movie. And then he shot his son. And then uh, when the mo when he thought the monster was coming, it was the military to save them Damn. and he said no and he couldn't kill himself that was Damn. effing judgment he took everyone out bow bow the old man the old woman then his little new woman his wife and then he took the his son out and then uh uh right when he was gonna kill himself the miller military pulled up and said we're here to help see that's why he, that's why the scripture says woe to you not to pull destruction upon yourself with your own hands yeah. right? really he lost faith yep you know, they all, that, that's what happens when you lose faith. And patience. And patience. Well, it says, woe to you that have lost patience. Yep. You know? Whoa, destruction unto you. You know? <laughs> and it goes on to say, and thy mighty in the war, and her gate shall lament, uh, 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 excuse me, and her gate shall lament and mourn. And lament. Lamenting. All right? The strongholds, the, the, the efforts, the platforms of, of sustainable living is going to lament. Uh, uh, nine. I'm sorry. Nine one one is disconnected. You know, please. You're gonna hear over megaphones where they told you to go and get aid. There is no more aid. And the movie would uh 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 contagion. It they said we don't have no more food. So the, the gates are gonna lament. What's the gate represent? You know the, the you know exactly the stronghold. You know. It's, that's why it says Jacob. Uh, see, that's judgment, man. It said the the, the gates of Jacob. It was lamented, we're uh, black into the ground, yep, yep, yep. you know? 
So now America's going through the curses that Jake already dealt with. We already got our ass whooping. Now it's your turn. It's your turn to get your ass whooped. This nigga trying to run to, to Mars and shit, man. Right. <laughs> That's why Lord said you ain't going no, your ass nowhere. Sit up on the ground. Yep. That's right. You know? And it says, um, and, and her gate shall lament and mourn, and she being desolate shall sit upon the ground. <laughs> Sit your ass down. Well, don't they do that when they pull you over? Sit down on the ground. Yep. Right? Turn over. Then they handcuff you. You know? Yeah, that was that. But I mean, there's a lot of meat. Okay. St. Isaiah 47. Uh, in verse 1, it says, Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Right. The dust being rep uh, symbolic, uh, metaphorically speaking, of the confusion. Okay? Because this was once... Uh, a so-called great nation, right? Yeah. But now look at it. It's nothing but confusion. People don't know, you know, inside What's what? outside. You yep. know? Is the mask on? Do I stay inside? Can I go outside? It's complete confusion out there, man. They're in that future spirit. Yeah. Mask on. <laughs> <laughs> mask on. <laughs> <laughs> they live in that whole uh, uh, verse. Mercus hat. Body. <laughs> you sure it is Mercus hat? Right. <laughs> trying to escape from reality. Yeah. Man. You know? Trying to zonk off. And it says... <laughs> Sit on the ground. Sit your ass down. Sit your ass down. I mean, you're going to be brought low. All right? This kingdom is being brought low. You had China uh, last year, <laughs> which it feels funny saying that, but last year you had China pretty much make an info commercial to feed homeless Americans. <laughs> Germany, too. Yep. And Germany, man. Call all y'all. Which they said it was satire, but that's prophecy. Right? Prophecy. I don't read the letter. I got a quick one because uh, he said sit down. Okay. Baba Kishan. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 3. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves uh, uh, and the grinders cease. Where everybody at? Oh, yes. Yeah. Speaking about that, right. the grinding ceasing. This year, a Grind lot of people are, are supposed to start resigning from their jobs, man, mm -hmm. which means a lot more people are going to be quitting. So it's going to be that much more strain on, on the labor force. <laughs> and it says, uh, it says, uh, uh, and the grinders cease because they are few, and those that look out of the windows be darkened. Darkened, meaning there's no future for this place. It's confusion. What's going on? We don't know what's happening. Nope. What's happening? What's up? <laughs> it's not looking good. It's dead out here. We alive, man. We alive, baby. We alive, baby, in the spirit. Y'all, too. Y'all yep. alive, too, man. Yep. Yeah, we alive, man. We live right now, man. Yep. You know, I, I, I want to read the ledger for Isaiah 47. Next, can you read it? Sure. This is Isaiah 47. Start at the first line. Yeah, yeah. It says, uh, to sit in the dust or on the ground was a sign of subservience and humiliation. Wow. Babylon, the mighty nation that achieved special status among the other nations of the world, tender and delicate will be put in a position of shame that, hey in layman's terms you're fucked that virgin's being put in a position right now man. humbled humiliation right. all right your ass is going through a complete humiliation ritual man. yep well look at the military you got men with heels on women with beards yeah. All type of weird shit, man. Yeah, bro. This got a big ass beard for you. Yeah. No, but it's a woman. Oh, you got a, a, a trend in Atlanta where the, the, the Leslie's, they're getting beards on, man. It's crazy. Sick out there. Yeah. And it says, um, it says, up to this point in the book, only God's people, only God's people have been called daughter by the Lord. In this passage, not only is Babylon given this title of... Right, and the reason why is because this place came out of Britain. You see? So that means that the daughter has what? A mother. Yep. Right? So Babylon came out of Britain. Yep. So that's why it's being called a oh, virgin daughter of Babylon. Well, there's a scripture that says, What thy mother is ashamed of thee. Yep. You know? And it says, um, uh, Oh, you got Esau now saying, Come back to Europe and make it white again. So even Esau's done with America. Man. They're actually, they're in a spirit of, we need to go back to Europe. Because wow. I follow a lot of like uh, uh, Edomite uh, pages. Mm -hmm. I be, listen to what they say, bro. They be talking big stuff about us, man. Yeah, re 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 yep, yep. I be spying them out. 
Like, yeah, hey, white power. <laughs> no, it's like, <laughs> not us. And it said, yeah. And it said, <laughs> and it said, uh, it says, uh, it's lucky, brothers. And it says, uh, in this passage, not only is Babylon given this title of intimacy, but it is qualified by virgin, indicating purity as well as dependence on the Father or God. However, here, virgin is sarcastic. Chaldeans refers to the Aramaic speaking tribe of Southern March region. Right, so, so why is it sarcastic? Because this, this place is actually the great whore. Right? It's actually the great whore that's riding on the beast, which is uh, NATO and the EU. You know? Yep. Now the whore is straddling the fence. You know? Well, back in San Isaiah, oh, look at that. Three sixes. The mark is coming. Yep, that much closer. That's right. coming. The name. I've seen so many license plates with that number. Yeah. And only Jake be like, oh. Right. They'd be like, oh, no, no, no. Right. I mean, I mean, <laughs> but he's all like, <laughs> well, last yeah. camp on Christmas Day, I was riding in front of me on a white pickup truck. Then they had a pentagram on the back with Satan's face. Damn. Oh, shit. So these people are, they're, they're, they're open with their worship of Satan, man. You know? This woman told me, she said, I'm a pagan. I said, so I did. I said, oh, so you know what Christmas is? She said, oh, yeah. <laughs> and I left it right there. <laughs> you got to oh, learn man. to walk away from yeah. people, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, back in Isaiah 47 and 1, it says, come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no... Right, you're going to be brought low. You're going to be brought... Good. Yeah. Yep. All right. Pretty much Babylon's going to be brought low. It's going to be put in a state of humiliation. You know? Now, this, the ultimate humble is going to be in the form of these nukes. Yes. You know, because that's when that virgin is going to get popped. Right. And it goes in the same... There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. Right, your rulership is being taken. Your authority is being taken. Okay, your, your respect is being lost. Okay. Oh, well, that's why it says in Zechariah, uh, the uh, holes in their tongue, so he ain't gonna be able to speak no more. Oh, and then you got, the, they're telling Biden, oh, just threaten Putin with sanctions. He ain't paying you. Right, sanctions ain't doing it no more. I ain't paying shit. You know, now they're saying, look, you put those missiles over here, it's on. You know? Okay. And it says, for thou shalt no more. Hey, man, if Putin and Biden were to square up, Biden would get his ass whooped, man. <laughs> you know? And Vlad means to rule. You know? So he's in a, he's uh, he's imagining a vain thing, but he has to. Because ultimately, he's going to think an evil thought. You know? He's going to be like, Joe, you bided time long enough. Right, because <laughs> everyone needs something to believe in, right? Well, it just so happens that what they believe in is not going to work for them. Nope. You know, because they might believe that they're going to be the next superpower to rule, or China might believe they are, okay, but it's actually going to be the elect men, you know, with the old shines, right, as joint heirs, you know. Right. And it says, and it's going to be a better living status. The earth is, the earth is going to rejoice, yes. yes. It tells you in Isaiah 14 that the trees is going to bring forth sin. Yes. You know, the animals are going to come up hugging you. Yes. Too. Every, everybody is going to be happy. Man. Yes. Even bro. even the heathens are going to yes. thank us in the kingdom. Yes, bro. Solomon was cool with the heathens, man. Mm -hmm. and you, you do have some cool heathens. Yeah. Some, you know? You got to get to that point, too, in this truth, man. You know, we don't are respective persons, but you got to understand that America is the reason why people are shit, man. You know, like you got just Jake, woman over here, she's, she's just walking all messed up because it's the system. You know, you have my man Loco in the South Central. He smoked the PCP. It's the, it's America. America taints you, man. It What's does. uh? What did my man um uh? Will, he said she used to be the sweetest girl. Yep, yep. Now she's sour amaretta. You know, because yep. people get tainted out here. Hey, we got tainted out here. You know, we didn't we didn't do drugs. You know, it was America. They call it peer pressure. Yeah, man. All right. America ruins people's lives. America could turn you uh, to a homeless person. It could turn you to a complete drug addict. Yes. Look, America will drive you to suicide. Yes. It, it does. And this is the time where suicides are skyrocketing, man. This time of the year. You know what's so effed up? The uh, tobacco industry, which don't get me started on that shit. Oh, That's man. a death trap. But they, the, the most time... They spend the most money in advertisements is January because they know that's when people are planning to quit. So he puts more money to keep smoke, smoke, smoke. Bigger titties, put the pack right, you know? Make it more vibrant color. You know? Damn. He's a grimy person, man. Damn. People are gonna say, thank you for getting me off drugs. 
Thank you for cleaning me up. Because that's what's coming. Cleaning up, man. You know, that Captain Planet is coming. Right. You know, the captain of our salvation. Right. Shit, we right. need it too. We need to get out of this flesh. Right, man. You know? And it goes in to say, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Right, this ain't the 1940s no more, man. So what's that mean? I don't want to sleep with her no more. Right. Moab was like, I ain't signing no deal with you hey, again. Fuck, nigga. You see? Oh, Verse 2, take the millstones and grind the mill, uncover thy locks, make bare the leg. Right, you've been exposed. The nations are seeing how, how shitty you are, man. Iran said, I'm putting sanctions on you for what you did to black Americans. A country is putting sanctions on America for what it's done to us. What does a black Christian say to that, man? What does vocab say to that? Right. What can you say to that, bro? Yo, Esau, you are a foul. <laughs> Border of wickedness for real. And it says, make bare the leg, excuse me, uncover thy locks. Russia said, you're not going to treat us like you did the Native yeah, Americans. Yep, yep, All here. right? Yep. And that's why I said, uh, Gad shall overcome. We're going to overcome on this truth, man. You know? It's all being exposed. It's all being brought out, man. You know, Esau's little bit of tits and tats trying to cover up the, the leaks. But the holes are just too many holes. Oh, how, how the hidden things of Esau so, start so, so, yeah. you know? You're being right. completely exposed, man. What they say, expose him. The man's defense is down. Yeah, the expose on this, on this guy, <laughs> on the whore. Yeah, you know the whore don't have any clothes on. Yeah. You know the other nations are looking like this. Yeah. We got in bed with that. She got hairy legs. You know, she got fucking. <laughs> they uh, they they woken up like uh one of the Wayne's brothers in Mo, Mo Money. Money. Yep, yep, yep. Cause first he was that whole scene is spiritual, bro. Cause first he ain't like her. Then he started drinking. He like, she ain't that bad. She ain't that bad looking. He's like, I must be drunk. Remember they said he got drunk? Yep. Then he woke up and saw her ass. He said, fire. There's a fire. You got to run. And he kicked her ass out the house. She said, how am I get home? And he slipped a couple dollars under the door. And he shut it and said, huh. That's how they feel. They just want to do what they need to do and be done with America. You know? And that's how you feel with Esau. You just want to be done with him. Yeah. You just want to be they do so much shit that a sorry ain't good enough. Right. Just go. And that's why I see, I finally see through the spirit why it says he shall be uh, done away and he'll be forgotten. You cannot live in the kingdom and be happy and see an Edomite. You cannot do it, man. Because you're going to think about Every how, how, how he put us in slavery, what he did to the planet, what he did to the earth. Whoa. How he uh, painted over our images, how he said the, the Lord was white. You know? How are you going to have a wife in a kingdom, but then the man that raped her in America is still walking around? Fuck that. Right. You got to burn, man. Yeah, right. Man. This place got to burn. You got to burn, man. Right. Or, or even the man who put us in slavery. Hell oh, yeah. You should watch that movie, Goodbye Uncle Tom. He had the little Israelite boy prop, with his feet propped up on him, man. Sick. You know? Sick, bro. And it says, 